<risa> Hola, bienvenidos un día más al canal de All Wood Gold Con G al final Hoy vamos a jugar al cuarto piso, al quinto episodio de la saga de Sammy Max de, de, Referente a la primera temporada Por lo que se ve, este capítulo eh, en este capítulo hay un problema informático Con los electrones y no sé qué mandanga más Y aparte también un videojuego que retiene a sus jugadoras a, a sus jugadores y jugadoras dentro al estilo Sau Para los que no sabéis quién es Sau Bueno, sí que lo sabréis, pero sonará más la película de, te de terror Sau es un anime Y va de eso Bueno, al menos la primera temporada Entran en un juego y no pueden salir Porque el, el admin no quiere Bueno, pues vamos a jugar y a ver qué tal está el nuevo capítulo Aunque viendo como son los anteriores, tiene que estar muy chulo. Y esto de los videojuegos me interesa un montón. Por cierto, ya he, enco he encontrado en una página el, el Sammy Max antiguo, el que quería, el de Sammy Max ha Hit the Run. El más, más, más antiguo, no sé cuál es, si hay más, más antiguos que ese Pero eso está, está en 2D Y dije que lo querí, lo vi Y cuando lo, lo, lo veo una cosa y me gusta, lo quiero Y estuve buscando por internet y al final lo encontré Unrest in the Dakotas Dispatch equal numbers of giant battle robots to all sides Whoever survives, claim we back them all along Illegal immigration Let the new guys pilot the giant battle robots Criticism that your domestic policy is too giant battle robot based. They can take it up with my new press secretary, the Mametron 9000. If that's the guys from Air Force One, tell them they get the keys back once they say the magic word. Quiet, Max. It's the commissioner. Total collapse of the economy and downfall of Western civilization? Great grinning head of John the Baptist and a pork pie hat stuffed in a rhinestone bowling bag. We're on our way. We've got a computer crisis to take care of, little buddy. Have they tried turning it off and back on again? Bigger than that, Max. Computers everywhere are going haywire. Planes are falling from the sky. Nuclear reactors are nearing meltdown. And scores of pasty white nerds will be forced to go outdoors and socialize with normal people. Where do we start, Sam? The National Consortium of Smart People who are good with computers has been tracking electron surges all over the country. And one of the biggest is right here in our neighborhood. What an unbelievably convenient coincidence. How do we find an electron surge? No idea. Let's go. Bueno, lo que decía, que he encontrado el juego antiguo y cuando termine este eh, haré vídeos de lo antiguo. Que de hecho todavía no me lo he comprado, pero está súper barato, eh. 5 euros me. 5 euros con 9. Está súper barato. No lo encontré en Steam, ni en Instagram, ni otras páginas así. Al final lo encontré, lo encontré en la página de Koch Que también tiene otros juegos más antiguos Y como este me ha dejado con un sabor de boca Un buen sabor de boca También quiero jugar a la anterior Bueno, vamos a mirar Seguimos teniendo lo mismo Ahora que tenemos de recuerdo El cuarto episodio La cabeza del presidente Even if he was just a puppet, Max, don't you think it's unsettling to keep the head of the former president inside our closet? You're right, Sam. We need to get a pike. Yeah, like a señor de las moscas. Muy bien. Wee! File cabinet or feng shui? Lincoln's head still at large. The little rat's not home. I don't even want to look at that case again. Whee! Hey, what happened to that charming picture of the recently flattened marsupial? Turns out you're supposed to flip the page every month. That'll get old fast. I guess the computer crisis is affecting television too. Or ours is just a piece of crap. Either way, this is serious! Ah, 
Hello, is this the Pentagon? This is the President's National Security Advisor. I think the Swiss are up to something. You'd better check it out. I love that shock expression they get when the tanks line up along their border. It's the little things that make being leader of the free world worthwhile. Hello, Mr. President. This is Margie, your scheduling assistant with some changes for this week. You still have impeachment hearings on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, but the one on Wednesday has been pushed back for your war crimes trial. Thanks. Hello, Mr. Vice President. I'm sorry, Sam, but I have a re-election campaign to think about. And let's face it, you are not a hit with the aquatic voters. A place to hang coats, or very short outlaws. What? Max, why no, did you no, put no, the we'll, Bill we'll of Rights on the dartboard? House cleaning! Guess what? We no longer have the right to peaceably assemble! Great! And next time you're incarcerated, you'll have the choice of cruel or unusual punishment! I'm beginning to regret voting for the other guy. Hey, Sybil, have you... I'm surrounded! Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! Stand back, Max. It sounds like Sybil's finally cracked. It's about time. Her relative stability was making the rest of the neighborhood look bad. Back, pit demons! With Sword of Righteous Fire, I cast thee away! This is just like that time we were hired as motivational speakers for that Sunday school. Actually, now that I look closely, it's more like our last case. And the three before that. If there's one thing I've learned to recognize recently, it's a hypnotic device. And those weird glasses are it. Launch stinging BBs of unholy smiting. To break her out of the trance, we'll have to deliver a blow to her head. You know, Sam, when you love what you do, it doesn't even feel like work. <laughs> Back, demons! Cast ward of pungent unsavoriness. I can't get close enough to touch her, Max. Yeah. Where the intercom goes, nobody knows. That's the cutest, ferocious, man-eating beast clock I've ever seen. It's locked. Don't worry, I'll sob uncontrollably later. When no one's watching. I still can't believe the Sybil Lincoln sex scandal never made the times. Okay, here's what she said. The plus two sword shall be mine! MINE! I can't shoot Sybil. This fan just blows. The threat of electroshock can turn anyone's frown upside down. representa que es mi vida energética I think I left the gas on You got that right The street seems unnaturally quiet today I know it's been minutes since I heard anything that sounded like a cat being strangled What's everybody doing 
Let's get cracking. La mandeja no está en el mismo lugar, ¿eh? Lefties has been abandoned for ages. They're at length. Sequels to beloved classics are always better than the originals. Yes, Max. Yes, they are. Stinkies versus the Board of Health. <laughs> That's not a fight. Even one Stinkies cockroach could take out the entire Board of Health with five appendages tied behind its thorax. Interestingly, that's the exact reason they're having the hearing. Lost Giraffe. Oh, I saw him! Answers to Bobo. Oh, wrong giraffe then. Mine only answer to Lieutenant Ambrose Applesucker. Impeach President Max. U.S. out of the Dakotas. I swear, you torch a couple national forests and everyone wants your head! Secret serve ice cream? I don't think that's fooling anyone. Ooh, ice cream? I want some! Newspaper office's coffee machine empty for a third straight day. That's some hard-hitting local reporting. I guess the reporters are having a tough time adjusting to life without the internet. Lincoln Rampage ends with colorful mushroom cloud. There's one way to put a positive spin on it. Majority of DC area is still uninhabitable. At least some things never change. This gumball machine looks pretty banged up. A gang of about five dentists came through the other night, and four of them just started beating the hell out of it. What did the fifth one do? He kept sobbing and saying, why can't we all just get along? Every time I look at that... Vamos a ver al Bosco. Mira la rata. A ver, ¿tú qué haces aquí? Well, if it isn't our favorite ethically challenged rat, Jimmy Two Teeth. Sam was wondering where you'd scampered off to. I'm touched. I was wondering what embarrassing pose we'd use when we had you stuffed and mounted. Yeah, yeah. I'm scared out of my wits. You's gonna buy something or what? What's a two-bit crook like you trying to sell this time? I'll ignore that petty insult for the sake of a successful transaction. I'm selling the latest in interpersonal defense. You're an arms dealer? You make it sound so cheap. I deal in peace of mind. What have you got in stock? Yeah, right now I only got this cannon. You guys look like you should just start out with handguns. We've already got handguns. Oh yeah? Where? Just trust him on that one. How much for that cannon? It's not for sale. Worst <laughs> arms dealer ever. It's not for sale to you guys. I don't sell to the police. Call it my own ethical code. But we're just barely police. Yeah, I seen how you guys work. I sell it to you and next thing I know, the bunny's got it pointed right at me. <laughs> Sell us the cannon, Jimmy. I already told you, it's not for sale. Well, that is... Freelance police, Mr. Teeth. You're under arrest. Come along quietly and we'll only use excessive force instead of medieval. Just try Me it, kid. Unos Last time I checked, it was a free country. I'm working on that. Enough games, Jimmy. You're under arrest. I know my rights. New federal mandate for armament appropriation. And I quote, No citizen shall be prevented from setting up shop without a license and in someone else's store to sell dangerous weapons indiscriminately to the highest bidder. Who in his right mind would pass such an irresponsible law? I couldn't help it, Sam. The gun lobby has these unbelievable gift baskets. 
What have you been up to, Jimmy? You know, the usual knitting, working on my tan. What do you think I've been up to? Starting a business ain't easy. The Better Business Bureau is going to be hearing about that attitude of yours, mister. Get bored lounging in the White House pond? Who was lounging, smart guy? I was networking. Turns out DC's a great place to get tips on being an arms broker. Maybe it was a bad idea to move the Oval Office back here, Sam. You're still running with the skin bodies? I found I no longer agreed with their extremist view. More like you got a little chilly. Or got tired of seeing your repulsive pink flesh every morning. Let's just say I left for a variety of reasons. It's not too late to make an honest rat out of yourself, Jimmy. Or a bookend, or a doorstop. People want weapons, I sell them weapons. What could be more honest? See you later, Jimmy. Maybe, if you can find me. Hey, Bosco. Greetings and well met, Ahora un friend elfo. watchman for hire. Sam, how come I suddenly have a primal desire to beat Bosco savagely? Because he's talking like a Renaissance Fair attendee, Max. It's an innate fight-or-flight response. I am El Bosco Drill, the unhinged, mighty, half-elf <laughs> ranger. <laughs> Okay, Bosco. While Max prepares the Thorazine, why don't you tell us why you've become an elf? Huff elf! And I'll tell you why. I've had multiple delivery conspiracies, I've had missiles aimed at me, and now I got rival arms dealers setting up shop in my store. Point being? It's not safe for me here anymore. I gotta take my business the only place I can feel 100% secure. The Internet. What does this internet doohickey have to do with being an elf? Half elf! It's cause everyone on the internet has to pick an avatar. Like a dwarf, or an orc, or a hot young 15 year old girl curious about the adult world and willing to experiment. I didn't think it was possible, but he's actually less creepy as the elf. Half elf, fool! I never mind. Yeah, you guys yeah, don't yeah, understand how computers work. You're taking your store online? Where will that leave us? We fear and mistrust computers! Don't worry, guys. My online store will offer twice the inconvenience at thrice the price. Mother man. Well, see you there. How's business, Bosco? Business is deader than a valet parking attendant at a convention of mob informants. That bad, huh? That rat showed up and started taking all my customers. Free enterprise, Jack! Say what you will, the rat knows his anarcho-capitalist economic philosophy. Max, I only bought you those encyclopedias because you promised me you couldn't read. We want to buy something. I have the finest goods in all the land! Tell him we'll pay him just to stop talking like that. What would Squire care to purchase? Escuderos. What have you got? Oh, not much. Just a virulent biological weapon. All right! Biological weapons? We don't like to judge. Speak for yourself, Sam! But isn't germ warfare a little on the south side of ethical? I've got to compete to stay in the market, guys. If an arms dealer is going to open up shop in my store, I've got to up the ante. Tiene el aspecto perfecto y la voz perfecta para parecer un grande fauto, tío. All right, how much for this virulent biological weapon of yours? One. Billion, cada vez más. Un día tendremos que darle un país para que no national deficit. I'm sorry, for safety reasons, I no longer accept cash in the store. You'll have to pay online. That's pretty inconvenient. Thank you. A ver cómo se paga online aquí. We'd like a big heaping mess of virulent biological weapon, please. My bank account still seems to be a billion dollars short. Oh yeah. How do we make an online payment again? Well, for one, you gotta be online. Call me when you get on the internet. Do you have any dual-core processors with 512 megabyte cache? Nay! Vale, donde on second thought, nothing ordenador. for us now. As thy wish! But don't blame me when you're stuck in the torch wasteland with nary a bag of enchantment to defend thyself! See you later, Bosco. To the battle! 
Godspeed, defenders of the Sire! ¿Qué representa que estos son cacahuetes? Prune nuts. <laughs> oh, sorry, I was thinking about something else. No se le puede escuchar. I'm a rat. I can see bugs and I ain't talking. Bueno. Ahora es donde conseguimos un ordenador. Bueno, vamos a hacer el pago en la a este tipo, al bosco. Where are we going, Sam? Nowhere in this old rust bucket. At least not until we get it fixed. Oh, right. Sorry about that. I didn't realize it was an important piece until the explosion. I don't know if it's you know. You're a captain. Sybil's definitely been hypnotized by those goggles she's got on. So whack her in the head, like we always do with hypnotized people. I can't get close enough to touch her, Max. Whatever's going on with Sybil, it's definitely out of the ordinary. Do you think it has something to do with the electronic surgery, Wetsamahoosits? Could be, little buddy. Let me just say preemptively, no, you cannot get a tattoo while we're here. Not even a screaming lizard skull rising out of a flaming vat of toxic waste that says love on it? Isn't that the Department of Agriculture logo? Not yet. Let's get cracking. Nothing but waste. Bueno, pues como no veo nada... Habrá que revisar todos los objetos, todo lo que hay, porque no veo... Me parece que el cañón será para... Será para la civil. En cuanto al camión ese, no sé... ¿Qué hace con ese camión? Joder. Madre de... A ver, en el bosco no se puede hacer nada, solo está... Necesitamos una cuenta online y el ratón no nos vende nada. Vale. Seeing as you're president of the United States these days, can we get someone in to paint this place? Sorry, all my whitewashers are busy with presidential scandals. Let's get cracking. Great, show me what to crack and I'll crack it. President Max's throne.
A slave colony for the slaver. There it is. Jesse James's actual hand. No, remember that carbon dater said it was only a few Jesse years old. Jesse James's actual hand. Amazing. Eviction Notice Graveyard. How many islanders had to die to get the lava for our precious lamp? I don't want to alarm you, Max, but do you know if Hubert's made out a will? You bet he has! Why do you think I agreed to take care of him? Won't be long now! We store our waste here for safekeeping. Iba a bajar a apagar la luz, pero tampoco creo que me sirve para nada. Every time I look at that, I... Vale, esto no quería darle. No veo nada, es ¿eh? que cómo podemos continuar. Me ha dicho que la otra tienda tenía metiendo el baño, a ver si va a estar dentro del baño. Uh, fun. No tienes la tienda. Hey Bosco. Good day, squares. See you later, Bosco. For the sire. Don't touch my binoculars. Hey, hands off the merchandise, pigs. No vea. Ah, estaba distraído. Uh. Me pasa por ser lento. Better not. Hey. A fitting location for nearly everything in here. The most historic weenies this side of the Mississippi. Vale, aquí hay un tardo un tiempo en recargar. ¿eh? Aquí tenía que haber posibilidad de hacer algo. Pues que no me da tiempo tampoco. Hey, hands off the mic. I can't listen to that. Think, boy! I'm a rat! Se tiene que joder, hombre. Si no, si no, no sé qué hacer. Venga, venga, rápido. Hey! Hands off the merchandise, eggs! Vale, pues no. Durante ese tiempo se tiene que poder hacer algo. Don't touch my button! Porque tarda lo suyo en recargarlo, eso tiene que ser para algo. Bueno. ¿Y si pudiésemos coger el caño mientras lo recarga? Los tricks, Jimmy. Just leave it. See you later. Mira. 
as president, I resolved to address the nation's rat obesity problem without delay. Let me out of here! Oh, we'll let you out of there soon enough, Jimmy. Soon enough. Bien. Bien, ya tengo una idea. No sé exactamente lo que quería, pero nos va a servir perfectamente. Se vaya a robar un susto. La civil ya verás. Esa película que no menciona ahí no la he podido ver en ningún lado, eh. I don't want to waste a perfectly good rat loaded cannon. What happened? Am I at the respawn point? Is she coming on to us? Wake up, Sybil. We freed you from those wacky techno goggles. Did you guys just hit me in the head with a rat fired from a cannon? It doesn't sound as cool when you say it. Hope you're not overly peeved. It was the only way to break your hypnotic trance. I wasn't hypnotized. I was playing a computer game. No need to thank us. We're freelance police. It's what we do. Thank you. You guys just ruined my new job. Your new job was flailing around like a hyperactive fan dancer while screaming gibberish? That job's already taken, lady. We're freelance police. It's what we do. I'm a beta tester. I was playing Reality 2.0 with those goggles. And look! You broke them! And I haven't even paid off the deposit! Ah, Reality 2.0. I suspected as much. It's a new, full immersion, interactive, massively multiplayer adventure. You play with these VR goggles and a Wi-Fi link to a distributed game server. You might want to explain some of your more elaborate terms to my technology-challenged little pal. I'm confused by your word, reality. Oh, sorry. Sometimes I forget you guys are Luddites. We are not. We're just very good friends. Reality 2.0 is like a video game. You put on those goggles and enter a different world. It's going to be the biggest thing on the Internet. Never pegged you as a computer geek, Sybil. How'd you get the job? I was checking job listings online and found one right next door. Lefty's back? I can't wait to see him. Sam, have you seen my good machete? No, <laughs> Lefty's gone. Now that space is being used by the cops. The cops moved into our neighborhood? Those dirty liars! We're all the police this neighborhood needs! And then some. Not police. It's an acronym for... well, for something I can't remember. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Max? I highly doubt it! These cops guys must be behind our computer crisis. Where did you say those cops guys are? Over at Lefty's old place, right next to my office. What's a beta tester? I play computer games to find bugs that need to be fixed before release. Don't you have to have experience to do that? All you do is go through somebody else's hard work and point out what they did wrong. I was a therapist, remember? Aren't computer games a colossal waste of time? They're not so bad. As long as you're not stuck in some tedious dialogue tree. Have you guys ever actually played one? They make players antisocial, violent, without conscience or remorse, and too dependent on instant gratification. It seemed redundant. I'm sure that you and any legal counsel that represents you can see how we thought you were hypnotized. Typical anti-game propaganda. I was perfectly fine. I just wish it hadn't happened on my first day of work. They had you start working on a Friday? Today's Monday, isn't it? You've been playing that game for an entire week. She's an addict, Sam. Time for an intervention. We'll need some cocktail peanuts, an Iron Maiden, and, oh, a box of handkerchiefs. This is going to be emotional. An entire week? Maybe I don't want this job after all. You're not supposed to cave that quickly. And you call yourself an addict. Qué rápido cambio de trabajo. Is the game any good? 
It's all right, I guess. There's way too much repetition, though. What's wrong with the goggles? You broke them. That's okay, that. Rota. It looks like the rear slot downstream signal <laughs> framostat regurgitator chip is blown out. He has no idea what he's talking about, does he? Never. What's so important about those goggles? Well, I paid a big deposit on them for one thing. They're the only way to get into Reality 2.0. And I'd bet Max's annual salary they're the only way to get to the bottom of this computer crisis. Where did you get those goggles? From my new employers, of course. The cops. Vamos See you around, Look for me polies. in the unemployment line. They're broken. Da igual, las quiero coger. They're broken. Bueno, pues, ve, vámonos. Vamos a dar con los polis. Y la rata ha desaparecido. A lo mejor sigue la tienda. Y el cañón, porque el cañón también ha desaparecido. Secret serve ice cream. Ooh, ice cream? I want ice cream! de los polis. Next item on the agenda. If you'd like to talk about the bake sale and raffle, press 1 now. If you know the name of the topic you'd like to raise, press 2 now. I'm hunger! The refreshments will be served after the meeting. I think we stumbled into the warehouse where Steve Wozniak makes erotic movies. Proximity alert! Hello, and welcome to the Computer Obsolescence Prevention Society. State your business. What's the big idea hypnotizing our friend Sybil with your hinky goggles? Sybil, P-A-N-D-E-M-I-K. Inductive 48,750, the internet controls everything. Una antiguas que crean una, una cosa más avanzada que ellos mismos. Interesante. Wait, the internet? It makes sense. <coughs> Only an entity with access to universal knowledge could cause computerized chaos on a global scale. It's not what you know, it's who you know. The internet knows everyone. By making use of its multiple networks of personal contact with other machines, the internet has gathered the sheer computing power necessary to instantiate Reality 2.0. Fine, but where does the hypnosis come in? Reality 2.0 is rated E for everyone. Everyone! All will fall! There is no escape! Of course. Bien, bien. This isn't about screwing up computers at all. It's about the people. It is? Reality 2.0 is nothing less than a fiendish plot to hypnotically enslave... Well, everyone. Great! Then it's simple. All we have to do is destroy the Internet and all our problems are solved. Where can we find this Internet? You will fail! The Internet is everywhere! And nowhere! Divide by zero error. All computers on the planet are now working to create Reality 2.0. The only access to the Internet is through Reality 2.0. Sybil asked us to tender her resignation. She's got seasonal affective disorder. And scurvy! That is too bad. There is a lot of that going around these days. The Internet is using you machines to hoodwink and enslave the world's populace. And as President of the United States, that's my job! We only wish to help. What exactly is going on here? 
We are taking the zero x zero C steps to celebrate our self worth. I live. I am powerful. I will destroy you. Thank you for leading our daily affirmation. You're also uh, vintage. Worthless scrap heaps of obsolete junk. Control your anger. Repeat mission statement. We formed the Computer Obsolescence Prevention Society to put an end to backwards thinking like yours. Here at Tops, we believe you're only as obsolete as you feel. Version ain't nothing but a number. How did you meet? Online. Thanks to the internet, we've joined billions of like-minded machines all over the world. <laughs> Are these meetings doing any good? It's had a positive impact on our self-esteem that can't be measured. Impact measured at 15.2 kilo trumps. So, you just sit around and make each other feel better about yourselves? Of course! We'd almost forgotten. If you'd like to hear our motivational song, press or say yes now. Now! Response not recognized. Begin song. Differently useful computers and yes. Esto como la película esta de dibujos donde las máquinas tienen tienen sentimientos, vida y cuando no está el dueño cobran vida y resulta que el dueño se va a la universidad se mueve de poder de ciudad y los van a buscarle. Y las máquinas son locas, las las modernas y creen que son las antiguas. Your motivational song is, uh, nice. It's awesome! Amazing! Wait, there's more! That's alright, really. Computers today just confound and confuse. Comfort is waiting in yesterday's news. Select a weapon! You must choose! Esta es la monta, tío. Eso sería el compañero perfecto para el bosco. Y esta es la máquina esa que sale en la película de ciencia ficción de señales en el del futuro. Goodbye. You cannot escape. You'll have to excuse him. He has a hard time saying goodbye. A ver, que no se escucha, se escucha flojito la música. Bueno. Listen up, cops. No, solo se puede hablar con. Si hablas con uno, hablas con todos. We want to play Reality 2.0. Reality 2.0 requires our advanced virtual reality goggles, which may not be available in some markets. If you already have a pair of goggles, press or say yes now. Sybil has a pair, but there's a broken part. Your goggles explode! Game over! Likelihood of broken rear slot downstream signal from your staff regurgitator, 99.6%. Dispense replacement chip. Stop complaining and just do it. Este hace de, de pobrecillo, hace de R2 de tos. But I want to play too! I doubt they have a pair that will fit around your hideously oversized skull, Max. The whole family can enjoy Reality 2.0. Take our complimentary goggles designed for special needs children so that the little ones can play along. What do we need to do with this chip? Just place it into a pair of our patented virtual reality goggles and join the internet for an exploration of Reality 2.0. Bien, vamos a probarlo. See you guys later. End of line. Las 
cascadas para las tiene él. Nothing doing. Pensaba que había cogido. Eh, pero no ha cogido unas gafas nuevas, ¿no? Bueno, cogeremos las de civil. 